today we're talking about cam profiles. Now this is part one because there's a awful lot about cam profiles. Um, there's cycloidal bloody cams and there's fucking multi sine wave ones and then there's constant velocity and it, the list goes on and on. But what I want to do is in part one is just show you some of the um, parts of a cam. So here, you know, I'm going to quickly go through this. This is the shaft. You have your journals here, here, and here. This is where bearings ride. And then you actually have your cam lobes themselves. This is obviously a fucking old knackered one, but you can see what they are. They're egg shaped. That's all we need to do on that. We don't need to go absolutely mental with that. But we actually have to look at the cam itself. So your cam is, for all intents and purposes, a circle with a nose on it. And we can delete, oh fucking hell, we can get rid of that because we need to draw other circles on it. And what we have is we have um, what we call our base circle, which is this. So this is our base circle. We imagine that's the circle I just drew. That's the, the shaft circle, so to speak. So that's our base circle. Then what we have is we have our, what we call our clearance circle. I should use a different colour, really. Let's just use the green for the base circle, uh, for the clearance circle, because cams are in constant contact with their followers, tappets, and all the rest of it. There is a clearance circle. So this circle here is our clearance. You can see that because I've kind of written off the board there. And then what you have is you have it cut into sectors, so to speak. So we'll cut this right down the middle <laughs> so what we have is we have this section which is from there to there where these two cross and I'll explain that in a second it's better with a graph actually and then we have this section here and all these sections come to the center like that that's beautiful as you can see so this is the nose and it's symmetrical so it usually it for a symmetrical cam it's symmetrical so we'll just go with symmetrical right now then we've got our uh, flank here that's our flank. Then we have our ramp. And then the rest of it, don't worry about that, there's nothing there. So what do all these mean? Well, you have a clearance circle. So let's just say, for argument's sake, that our tappet is there. That's where our bucket tappet is with its shims and all the rest of its shit. And this is the clearance. You see, your cams do not just constantly roll against your buckets. This is what you measure when you do your clearances, your cam clearances. And that is the gap that's between here and here, like so. Rocket noisy orbital bloody tonight. So that's our clearance there. So the ramp is where the cam starts there from its base circle and ramps up until it's actually coming into contact there. It's where this actual cam material crosses this line of this clearance circle and we call that the ramp section. It's very, usually very small and that's when it comes into contact. Now it's quite important because you don't want it to be a big shove all of a sudden, you want it to gradually take up the load and allow oil to remain there instead of instantly squishing the shit out of it. Then you have our flank. Our flank basically is just our rise up to our nose and then our nose it becomes more important with other cams and we'll get to that later. Obviously this is symmetrical, you know, so you'd have the same thing here with the uh, your ramp and your flank and your nose and all those things. We call this section of the cam here, uh, depending which way the cam rotates, but if it's rotating leading in, we call this the lift section of the cam and we call this section here the fall section of the cam. Now, you do get asymmetric cams and we'll do that and we'll get to all that and that's very important because you can actually control how your valve closes and all the rest of it. Um, our From our flank here, to our nose is our lift. That's we call this the lift section, but this is your actual measurable lift. Is this? So that's your measurable able lift there. Any road. So that's just part one of this. It's very quick. I just want you to get used to the terminology of what a ramp is, what a flank is, and what a nose is, because in the future I'm just going to say this is why, or when we adjust the ramp, or when we adjust the flank, or when we do noses and all the rest of it and on the lift and the fall of the cam and we've got to be careful because of our clearance circle or our base circle whatever you guys know what the hell i'm talking about hope that makes sense and i'll see you in a bit 